morning guys welcome back to the shop here's another RV 10 update I got the first door glued together and uh, sitting here on the airplane um, I'm gonna bring you in closer and show you a couple of little things I did that uh, don't get called out in the plans um, you can see extra clicos here and a few up here on the front edge what they tell you is to use some method uh, weights and I've got two 25 pound bags of shot up there holding that down uh, but when you get it all set up on there and glued it's all glued with the uh, fiberglass resin of course but uh, you get it all up there there's nothing really holding it together so you got to figure out how you're going to clamp it and I thought it was difficult to clamp I've got a couple of big clamps I tried and so you would clamp along that door jam or post or whatever you call that thing to try to pull these sides together so you got the outer shell here and the inner shell that you can't see you're trying to pinch those together and make sure that this gets glued uh, bonded together real well and so I added a couple of extra holes and put clecos in there I'm not sure what the big problem would be if anybody uh, has tried it or has uh, opinions about it let me know I'm happy to hear it um, the downside here is that I'm going to have a couple of holes to fill and you're gonna sand the crap out of this stuff to paint it anyway so I figured I'll just slap a little Bondo in those holes or whatever I'm using for filler and uh, to get rid of uh, pinholes and that kind of thing but so I'll have some holes there um, I positioned them such that they don't hit anything underneath except for the other door panel so the inner and outer are pulled together but not this does not pull into the structure underneath just the two door halves, the inner and outer. Um, if I drilled over here further, you would hit the part of the canopy cover, I guess is what they're calling that. So that's what I did there. I used a lot of side clamps to uh, make sure that the, this pulled together along there, even though you've got all these holes here. Um, oh, and I also drilled, here's where the armrest uh, fabric is in there, that, that thick piece that you wet up and then it's sandwiched in there. And then I also drilled three holes there. This is like the door handle area, I believe. So I drilled a couple extra holes there to try and pull those two pieces together to make sure that they uh, touched each other and that the resin will hold them together. Um, I, I saved my cup, uh, which you always want to do something like this. I ended up, uh, this is actually, I started mixing it up in one cup and I did 10 pumps on that, uh, I think that's a quart can. 10 pumps each and then I started mixing in the glass beads and I ended up with this thing being clear almost clear full and so I poured it half of it into another cup and this is the first half that actually wasn't um, thick enough yet you want to thicken it so that it's not supposed to pour out of the cup you don't want it running all over the place and you can see I left it a little bit runny probably but uh, I'd rather have it a little bit runny than too thick because if it's too thick it may hold the two parts away from each other and you don't want that um, and keep in mind all this kind of stuff I'm no expert um, didn't have this kind of fiberglass work on the RV6 for sure and I don't claim to be an expert on any of it but I'll be sure to let you guys know when I pull this apart and see how the extra clicos did if you're interested in trying that yourself um, and I've also got two up here that I did, two extra clecos, and those go into the cavity where the hinge will go. So um, to just try and hold the two pieces together while it's setting up. Um, it's still a little bit gooey, so the thinner it is, the longer it'll take to dry. It doesn't get as hot. Um, of course, the stuff in that cup got really hot, which is what you'd expect. But uh, that's it for now. It took me about, uh, I think I had... 45 minutes of working time and that's the slow hardener um, but I'll let you know if you got questions uh, if you're following along or about to get to this step shoot me a comment and I'd be happy to try and answer it see you next time